In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Matrix on your smartphone. Now, it doesn't matter if you have an iPhone or an Android or a Windows phone. As long as you can access the Internet, you should be able to access Matrix. All you need to do is use a browser, such as Safari in this example, or Chrome or whatever else browser you might be using. So I've got Safari here, so I'm just going to click on my Safari browser, which opens up and takes me to the Internet. I then go up to the address bar and take out whatever I see there and type in ToledoRealtors.com. This will take me to a familiar website. looks very similar to the website I see on my computer. I now just click on the Members icon and I type in my user ID and password, the same one that I use on a computer. Once I log in, it'll take me to Clarity's dashboard for Matrix. I simply click on Matrix. Now it might ask me to log in again just simply because it's using Clarity and not going directly to Matrix first. So if that's the case, just enter your password again. and then log in. Now it might take you to the mobile version like you see here and that is fine. In fact if you want to bookmark this you can. Now I'm going to show you how to bookmark it but I'm using a iPhone and I'm using Safari. So if you're using an Android or Chrome it might be a little different option here. But for example I've got this little box at the bottom with an arrow pointing up. By clicking on that it'll give me an option here on my iPhone that I can scroll over and click on the add to home screen. By doing that I can simply give it a name and then hitting add. And now you'll see it puts an icon right there on my home screen that all I have to do is in the future is just click on it. It takes me right in. Now even though you're on the phone you can still hit this full site link and that full site will take you to the full version of Matrix, which you should be able to do nearly everything as if you were on a computer. And you notice it's kind of small, so what you can always do is turn it sideways and make it landscape. That might make it a little easier to read. And then you can always zoom in by using your fingers. And then if you need to, you can go right back to the mobile tab option here. And all that does is just turn it back to the mobile version for you. So I hope that helps you. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.